again, I know when a loss is my fault. And I can take a loss. That's fine. I can take a loss. But when you lose in overtime, when you lose in overtime on this play, and actually let me go back to instant replay since I can show you the full play. Let me go back to instant replay here. And I'm not biased. I'll show you the full play. I will show you the full play. Because right here we make a mistake. Our left wing comes in. I'm, I'm assuming he didn't mean to do the spinorama, but it happened and he lost the puck. And that's fine. Right here, our right wing picks it up. As I try to turn around, he picks it up. I try to pivot for the deflection. I can't. So all three of us get caught up ice. That's fine, right? So right here, they get it to one of their humans, which is fine. He cuts across the middle, which again, is all right. Here's the contact. Now, again, uh, what well, incidental contact. That's the right word here. My stick's in the right spot. His pass or deke doesn't go through. Deflects up in the air. That's cool. Shitload of people going for it here. But right here is the interesting part, as of course their computer, of course their computer, it wouldn't be uh, my, it wouldn't be any one of the three players on my team. It would be either their human or their computer. Happens to be their computer. Now keep an eye, of course, on our defenseman, who has no idea what the fuck's going on. He's just skating away, and we'll watch his little path here. He just keeps on going. He has no idea what's going on. Oh, he's man-marking. Is he, though? Is he? By just blindly skating and following someone who isn't a threat whatsoever. Anyway, their computer, of course, will just go like, Oh, look what I magically now suddenly know is there. He'll reach through. Look at that. Look, look at that little animation. Look at this. Hold on. You see the puck? Oh, what is that little flip? Perfectly onto the tape. Yep, because this game is uh, so organic and it's just... No, the animation-based physics. Yeah, because those are physics, all right. He picks it up. Again, our computer does nothing. Their computer steps in, takes the wrist shot. We get the save. Rebound goes right back out in front. Their computer reaches for it on the backhand gets another shot. We get another big save from our goalie. Our right D continues to do nothing. Or our left D, whatever the fuck Erwin is. Uh, as our goalie goes to cover it, right, he decides to kick it away from him and try to kick it to his tape right in front of the goal because that's the animation that should trigger there. He shouldn't try to play it with the stick in traffic like their computer just did. Keep in mind, despite me raising my voice, I can take a loss. I've had quite a few of them. It's fine, but you can't blame somebody. And we haven't even gotten to the best part. Let's get to the best part. So our guy kicks it right back in front. Our goalie then decides to scoop it into his own net with his stick. In doing so, forcefully, mind you, with intent, he decides to put it right through his own leg because we can't properly fucking program Collision detection. What's the point of a fucking pad if it's not going to stop the Pocky A? What is the point? Not to mention, like I said, it was an own goal. It was an own goal. People in the crease. Let's see, was there any collision? Tough to say. Looks like he's hitting the goalie. Maybe it should have been called off. I don't know. But let's see here. And then. Then. Boop. I'm just gonna swipe it through. Yeah, look at that. His own, look at, look at his stick. Look at the goalie's fucking stick, man. Look at this. Look at this. This is what I paid money for. This is what all of you paid money for. Yeah, it's lovely when it happens in your favor, right? It's amazing. I'm not that hypocritical. If this happened in my favor, would I say it's bullshit? Sure. But would I be over the fucking moon? Sure. Also, because as you can see by the stats, kinda deserve the win. But again, stats don't tell the full story. Quality of shots and da, -da, da Just look at this. This right here. That sums up NHL 17. That sums up EA in general. And it is just so, so fucking frustrating, man. It really is. It really, really is. But again, 
Whatever. All that comes out of this is I get labeled as a fucking whiner who can't take a loss, and that's fine. That's fine. Or, like I said, I'll be told, get good, or all that shit, and that's fine.